Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, exercise 6a trigonometry intermediate first year. This is the second video. We are in that exercise 6a question number 4, global letter 1. If sin theta equal to <coughs> minus 1 by 3 and theta does not lie in third quadrant, find the values of cos theta and cot theta. So first given information you have to write it. Given sin theta equal to minus 1 by 3 is negative. <coughs> sin theta negative in which quadrants? Third and fourth. Clearly they mentioned theta does not belong to third quadrant. That means what? Therefore, theta belongs to fourth quadrant. I hope everyone understand. Sin theta negative in third and fourth quadrants. Theta does not belongs to third quadrant. Since theta does not belong to Q3, that is the reason Q4. So Q4 means the rough figure we can draw like this, dear students. This is the fourth quadrant. Rough figure. I am taking theta here. Sin theta definition. Opposite by hypotenuse. So this is 3. Opposite minus 1. So here what we can expect here to get 3. X you can take it by using Pythagoras theorem. X square plus minus 1 whole square is equal to 3 square 9. So X square equal to 9 minus 1 8. X is equal to root 8. So that is equal to 2 root 2. You know that. 4 into 2 we can write it. It is as 2 root 2. Okay. So this value x I am taking 2 root 2. They are asking to find the values cos theta. Cos theta in fourth quadrant it is positive. That is equal to cos theta definition. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Sorry, adjacent side by hypotenuse, right? So 2 root 2 divided by 3. Next, cot theta. Cot theta negative. In fourth quadrant, it is negative. So minus cot theta definition. Adjacent side by opposite side. So, 2 root 2 cot theta definition. Otherwise, you can go like this cos theta by sin theta. So, minus 2 root 2. The next question. If cos theta equal to t, 0 lies, uh, sorry, 0 is less than t is less than 1 and theta does not lie in first quadrant. So here, find the values of sin theta and tan theta. First, given information dear students. Cos theta equal to t clearly is positive. Clearly, we are observing that it is positive. Cos theta positive in which quadrants? First and fourth. So theta does not lie in first quadrant. Therefore, theta belongs to fourth quadrant. Since theta does not belongs to Q1. Okay. So, in fourth quadrant, the value of sin theta and tan theta, we can calculate. Whenever we know cos theta, find out sin theta value. Sin theta equal to plus or minus root of 
वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर टीटा डेट इज इक्वल टू प्लस और माइनस रूट वन माइनस कॉस टीटा वैल्यू टी सो टी स्क्वायर हियर साइन टीटा इन फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट इट इज नेगेटिव सो यू कैन टेक ओनली माइनस सिंस टीटा बिलोंग्स टू क्यू फोर then sin theta equal to minus root one minus t square yes, okay now tan theta sin by cos only no tan theta also in fourth quadrant it is negative next tan theta equal to साइन डेटा बाय कॉस डेटा साइन डेटा वैल्यू इफ यू ड्रॉ द राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल मींस यू यू विल गेट बाय यूजिंग डेफिनेशन बट हियर वी कैन नॉट ड्रॉ नो वी डू नॉट माइनस रूट 1 माइनस t स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस डेटा वैल्यू t सो देयरफॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन डेटा इज माइनस रूट 1 माइनस t स्क्वायर tan theta is minus root 1 minus t square by t i hope you understand i will move to the another question is yes, please so this type of questions we may expect in two marks questions find the value of sin 330 into cos 120 plus Cos two ten degrees into sine three hundred. <coughs> so first, uh, the given information I am writing sine three thirty into cos one twenty plus cos two ten. Into sine three hundred. Three thirty nearby three sixty. So we can write it as sine of three sixty minus thirty into one twenty. Either one eighty minus sixty or ninety plus thirty. Cos Ninety plus thirty plus cos two ten two seventy minus sixty or one eighty plus thirty. <coughs> Better to write one eighty minus thirty. One eighty plus thirty. Sine three hundred three sixty minus sixty. Otherwise two seventy plus thirty. That also we can write all thirty only, no? Better to write two uh, seventy plus thirty. Sine of three sixty minus theta fourth quadrant. So three sixty even multiple of sine 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 only will come. Theta value thirty degrees. Three sixty minus fourth quadrant no minus. Into keep bracket. Cos of ninety plus theta second quadrant cos negative minus ninety odd multiple for cos sine will come. So sine theta thirty degrees plus cos of one eighty plus theta one eighty plus third quadrant cos negative. So here minus one eighty even multiple for cos cos only will come. Theta thirty degrees. Keep bracket again. Sine of two seventy plus two seventy plus means fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, sine is negative minus two seventy. Odd multiple of pi by two for sine co function cos will come. Cos thirty. So anyway minus sine thirty one by two. Into minus sine thirty one by two plus 
माइनस कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाई टू इंटू माइनस कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाई टू सो माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस वन बाई टू इंटू वन बाई टू वन बाई फोर प्लस माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री थ्री बाय टू इंटू टू फोर सो वन बाई फोर प्लस थ्री बाई फोर फोर बाई फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू वन सो दिस इज द वे वी कैन डू डे स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड The next question: If cosecant theta plus cot theta equal to one by three, find cos theta and determine the quadrant in which theta lies. So we know that from identities, cosecant theta plus cot theta is given. So in identities, first I'm writing formula: cosecant theta. माइनस कॉट टीटा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई कोसी कैंट टीटा प्लस कॉट टीटा वाइस वर्स ऑर ये स्टूडेंट्स दैट मींस कोसी कैंट टीटा प्लस कॉट टीटा में दिस वैल्यू विल बिकम दिस साइड सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन गिवन कोसी कैंट टीटा प्लस कॉट टीटा इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री सो बाय यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला कोसी कैंट टीटा माइनस कॉट टीटा इक्वल टू वन बाय दिस वैल्यू वन बाय थ्री वन बाय वन बाय थ्री मींस व्हाट कम्स थ्री वन बाय वन प्लस कोसी कैंट टीटा वन बाय वन बाय थ्री इस थ्री सो टू सॉल्व To find theta in which quadrant, we need to calculate cosecant theta and cot theta values. So how to do? First, one plus two, we will do it. Equation one plus equation two. So what comes whenever we are adding plus cot theta minus cot theta get cancelled? Cosecant theta plus cosecant theta to cosecant theta will come. Is equal to one by three plus three. Three means what? Three by one. Take LCM three. One plus nine. So two cosecant theta value. So cosecant theta equal to ten by two into three six. It comes as five by three. Two five zero two three zero. So cosecant theta value. What we got it here? Five by three, absolutely positive. Positive value we are getting. In the next step, one minus two, I am going to do that. Equation one minus equation two. Whenever you are subtracting, here minus, here plus, here minus will come. Cosecant theta, cosecant theta get cancelled. Two cot theta is equal to one by three minus three. So two cot theta equal to three LCM. Three means what? Three by one. One minus nine minus eight by three. So cot theta equal to minus eight by six. Two ones, two fours, two threes. Cot theta equal to minus four by three. It's a negative value. Cosecant theta positive, cot theta negative. In which quadrant it is possible? Cosecant theta positive, second quadrant. Cot theta negative, obviously. Therefore, conclusion here. Cosecant theta is positive, and cot theta is negative. Therefore, theta belongs to Q two. In Q two, cos theta they are asking to find. So much place is there. Theta equal to pi by two. 
just uh, I will make it just this. So now cosecant theta is there now. Reciprocal of cosecant. Cosecant theta equal to phi by three. That implies sine theta equal to three by five. Reciprocal of cosecant sine. Sine theta whenever it comes. Cos theta. Right angle to triangle will draw the students. Theta. Sin theta definition opposite by hypotenuse. We know that Pythagorean triples. Whenever three five comes here, obviously four will come. From this right angle triangle, cos theta. Cos theta definition adjacent side by hypotenuse. So four by five. Here doubt will arise. So plus we can take our minus. Theta belongs to Q two. In second quadrant, cos theta is negative, so you can write as minus. Since theta belongs to Q two, okay, dear students. I hope you understand. So cos theta value we got it, and theta where it lies? It lies in the second quadrant. Okay, I will move to the another question. Those who are not able to see, now we can. The next question, which is very important for two marks. Sin alpha plus cosecant alpha equal to two. Then find the value of sin power n alpha plus cosecant power n alpha value, where n belongs to z. See to solve this type of problem, sir. n already here n is 1 now so if you do that squaring on both sides n is equal to 2 will come once again if you do that squaring on both sides 4 will come so first uh, given sin alpha plus cosecant alpha equal to 2 squaring on both sides A plus B all square dear students. Sine square alpha plus cosecant square alpha plus two sine alpha into cosecant alpha is equal to two square four. We know that one of the important relations in trigonometry, sine alpha into the reciprocal cosecant alpha. It always is equal to one. Sine theta into cosecant theta value one. Therefore, from that, this value goes to be one. Sine square alpha plus cosecant square alpha plus two into one is equal to four. Here, two we are bringing this side. Sine square alpha. Plus cosecant squared alpha is equal to four minus two. This is one. This is two. Again, squaring on both sides. Again, squaring on both sides. This is a. This is b. A plus b whole square again. Yes, it is. So sine square alpha whole square means sine power four alpha plus cosecant power four alpha plus two into sine square alpha into cosecant square alpha is equal to again two square is four. Again sine alpha into cosecant alpha whole square that value is also one only no so. This value again it goes to be one sine power four alpha plus cosecant power four alpha 
plus 2 is equal to 4. 4 to bring the sign, it comes as sine power 4 alpha plus cosecant power 4 alpha is equal to 4 minus 2, 2. From 1, 2, 3 equations by observing by observation otherwise observing by observation equation 1, 2 and 3 we conclude that sin power n alpha plus cosecant power n alpha is equal to 2 for n belongs to z. I hope everyone understands this. We will move on to the another question. Yeah, the next question if C, secant theta plus tan theta equal to 5, find the quadrant in which theta lies and find the values of sin theta. Here, one of the identities in trigonometry, <coughs> second identity we have, secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. From that, secant theta plus tan theta equal to 1 by secant theta minus tan theta, vice versa. Suppose if you have secant theta plus tan theta, secant theta minus tan theta equal to 1 by secant theta plus tan theta. Okay, dear students. Now, come to the question. In the given question, given secant theta plus tan theta equal to 5. So, what value will come secant theta minus tan theta? Secant theta minus tan theta value is equal to 1 by 5. Okay, the reciprocal itself now. So, first this is equation number 1. Equation number 2, like a previous problem. Now I am adding 1 to 1 plus 2 equations. Next time 1 minus 2 also we will do it here. So whenever we are adding 2 equations, tan theta minus tan theta get cancelled. So here secant theta plus secant theta, 2 secant theta is equal to 5 plus 1 by 5. 5 means what? 5 by 1. 2 secant theta is equal to 5 into 5, 25 plus 1 into 1 by 5. So, 2 secant theta is equal to 26 divided by 5. So, 2 1s are 2 13 sir. So, here only I am dividing. Otherwise, secant theta equal to 26 by 10. But you can simplify 2 13s, 2 5s. Therefore, secant theta is equal to 13 by 5. Okay, dear students. Next, we subtract one equation, second equation from 1. Whenever we are subtracting, here minus, here plus, here minus will come. So, these two will be cancelled. Tan theta plus tan theta, 2 tan theta is equal to 5 minus 1 by 5 will come. So, 2 tan theta is equal to 5 into 5. 5 means what? 5 by 1. 5 LCM. 25 minus 1. So, which is equal to 24 divided by 5. But I want only tan theta. So, tan theta equal to 24 divided by 5. 2 we are bringing this side, 2 5s are 10, 2 table, 2 12s are, 2 5s are. So therefore, tan theta equal to 12 by 5. By observing, tan theta and secant theta both are positive. 
therefore secant theta comma tan theta both are positive whenever both are positive therefore theta belongs to q1 we decided that it is in q1 after that secant theta is 13 by 5 therefore cos theta reciprocal of secant is what cos therefore it comes as 5 by 13 whenever cos theta is there we can find out easily sin theta sin theta formula sin theta is equal to root over plus or minus will come 1 minus cos square theta that is equal to plus or minus root 1 minus 5 by 13 whole square that means 25 divided by 169 169 minus 25 By 169, that is equal to plus or minus root 144 divided by 169. Root 144 is 12. Plus or minus 12 divided by 13. But theta belongs to Q1. Sine theta is positive. Therefore, we can consider sine theta is equal to plus 12 by 13. Therefore, the value of sine theta. Not only now from here, but also tan theta. Here also we can find that. Simply just I will explain. Even by taking a right angled triangle here theta, tan theta definition opposite by adjacent side. Here opposite it is adjacent. So whenever twelve five is there, Pythagorean triple thirteen will come. So from this also sin theta we can write it as opposite by hypotenuse. So the value of sin theta is. 12 by 30. I hope everyone understand, dear students. Those who are watching first time our channel, you have thousand plus videos in Mathematics 1A, Mathematics 1B, Mathematics 2B, and Mathematics 2A. So those who want uh, intermediate exercise-wise, all videos are available in our channel. You can utilize. If you are really like these videos, please like and share to the needy students. Thank you all. Jai Hind. Maths with Pandit.